That fufu lame shit, I ain't with it. I sent some shots at your fitted. Swag, bitch. Okay, that's Vine star Brian Silva, and he was arrested yesterday after a police standoff. So what happened, according to police, which a call was made by a neighbor. So, quote, the police say it was a domestic disturbance. A female caller said that she was threatened with a firearm. They responded, began an, inv an investigation. Apparently, a 17-year-old girl had been at the residence. When a dispute occurred, she then left to go, went to the neighbor's house. The girl told police she had been held against her will by her boyfriend, which is Brian Silva, and that he had also threatened her with a handgun. She said that he also told her that he wanted to shoot the police. So the police then made contact with Brian Silva. They talked to him. He would not come out of the house. So then they had to call the SWAT team. They barricaded the house. There was a standoff for three hours. He finally then came out. Nobody was injured. He is arrested. He's behind bars. And uh, you guys know the history, but you guys may not. He does have a, a rap sheet. So he did do, he served three years for breaking and entering. He also has a little bit of a rap sheet in high school where he got into a number of different fights. He also assaulted his principal, punched his principal. And uh, yeah, we can continue the conversation. Uh, but first thoughts, five words or less. He has a clothing line. Skin Deanna Bones. <laughs> Mine was also going to end with, I was just going to go, we're going to be, uh, yeah. uh, who follows him? Like, Here's, who is actually following? Because he has a YouTube channel. He has apparently a lot he of fans. a number of different Twitter accounts with a lot of followers. He's a porn different star. professions. There is actually some intelligence in that complex interview that we, uh, that we read where he's talking about how uh, different people uh, expect different things on his Twitter. That's why he has different um, different accounts for the, all the other things that he does, like he's a porn star. No! And he's a bodybuilder. Body builder. You're not a bodybuilder. You haven't built anybody. You're no. so skinny. That's the thing. Who I used to have that body because I had no body fat because my, you know, when you're yeah. a kid, you have that high metabolism. Yeah, he's yeah. 23. Just I don't care like, if he's skinny or if he's a bodybuilder. I care that he is a really f***ed up character. Yeah. He is such a, you look at his Facebook profile, you look at, like, I'm not even going to talk about his history because if he came out of jail, a better person evolved, I would say mad respect, more power to you. But when you listen to his interviews, he has no remorse on his past behavior. Mm -hmm. He brags no, about he, his yeah, past Yeah, he wears behavior. like a badge of honor. Like, yeah, I went to prison. I can use the M-bomb Here's why now. he's a like, yeah. Here's why he can't. He can't you do that. Can't you can't use you can't the M-bomb. A lot of his vines are just a gun. <laughs> and why does he have them? They're like really big guns. And right now I'm playing Fallout 4, and he looks like a mutant from that. Oh, yeah. Like a super mutant. These people, there's been radiation. But there's good super mutants, and they face this kind of like adversity, and they come out with positive uh, uh, personalities. This guy's one of the ghouls in the wasteland that animates and tries to scrape your face off. But well, okay, I agree with you. I think that he good. looks. <laughs> Thank you. Again. I think he looks really creepy. But what I don't understand, and I understand, I understand that there's like this kind of this captivating quality to him, where it's like, what? Absolutely. What? Why? But then why would you be like, I want more of that? Tears. Let me subscribe. There's Let me follow. Oh, the what? reason he has so many loops is because it takes like 30 to figure out what he said. Yes. So that is actually yes. a genius. Yeah, yeah but the followers, who is clicking like, yes, You don't more. follow really weird things on like social media. But like I look at like racist profiles because I want to understand like what you, motivates them. Like what is him? But it's also because you're but racist. Then, but then don't well. follow them. But then you no. look at some of the comments where people are applauding him and where girls do want to, they write in, I want to bang you. And Dude. I'm like, what? Why? Here's what <laughs> happens is there's different way, there's different kinds of people who follow any individual. There are different tiers of people out there who follow different numbers of Vine stars. So if I follow 10 people, then every time that guy uploads something, I'm gonna see it. Mm -hmm. But if my thing is to follow a lot of Viners, then I can follow 150 people. So the odds are that at any given time in the top of my feed, it's gonna be that guy's stuff is lower. So I can, f so he gets those people who are like, you know, whenever they get a Vine star forwarded to them, they just click follow and then move on. Are I mean, people, we have 300,000 so like, subscribers. That's insane. These people are stupid. Here's the danger in this. is He's being rewarded for his behavior because he's as misogynistic as they come. He drops the N-word left and right, and he thinks that he's able to, even though he's white. And there's a number of different things where he brags about his behavior, but then he's rewarded by some of the comments or by the the amount of followers. That's what's scary about when this. When you're faced with re 
real life consequences, eventually you're going to get in trouble. And this has just happened recently where now he's going to jail for possibly a very long time. And he time. didn't care. But what was he saying? He on was, his yeah, on his, Facebook, on his Facebook page, he was uploading videos as the cops were surrounding the house. He's like, I see you 12. Like, I see you, like, suck my nine. Like, like pointing a gun. It's just... It's not that he doesn't care. I think he's just so stupid that he doesn't understand the real-life consequences of what's about to happen to him. Okay, you guys, please continue the conversation. Share your thoughts on Brian Silva. I almost forgot his name. That's good. a good, good. thing. Good. Forget yes. it. So please share your thoughts. And if you do follow him, please tell us what is the appeal. Why do you follow him? We want to know. And also check us out on Watchable.com. See you guys next time.